Good morning, guys. All right, ADA, should you jump into ADA right now or should you wait for the pullback in order to get into your long trade? That's what a lot of people are wondering. I'm gonna show you guys my perspective on here. I'm not gonna use emotions. We're gonna use strict data of what past history is called. I'll tell you guys right now, every time we've been up here before in this scenario I'm about to show you, we have dropped every single time every time from the metrics. So you guys are looking at this and you're like, awesome. We see ADA got a nice little pump up here. What I did is I ended up drawing this line basically of where we're currently at. I know this can fluctuate. I'm just drawing it in here as an ascending channel at the moment. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to pay attention to. Why is this gray line here? You need to come back out here and you need to go to the daily time frame. We will be going over the metrics here. Um, and then the best uh, trade for a long trade, if you guys want to get in with me on this. Okay. If we take a look at the previous structure highs in the past, when we've gotten around this area, it's between this one. 55 and around this 161. This is what's called a resistant zone. This has been respected very nicely over here and we saw a very fast drop in the market. It was respected over here and we saw nice drops in the market. Around this area, we all also saw consolidation and we ended up seeing a little bit of a move down here as well. So this is a level from the past that has been respected a lot for moves down in the market. So that's why I have that up there, okay? Now, just take that into perspective. That's one bit of data we need to take in here. Now, again, we're trying to answer the question, is it best to go long right now? Or are we gonna wait to have this move back down and they get into a long position? Because a lot of you guys, with fear of missing out, you're gonna wanna jump in on here because all of your normal indicators, your RSI, your Stochastic, your MACD, and your MAs, these are all pointing bullish for you. And I can understand if you guys are following the trend, if you've been taught that, you guys are saying, you know what? Follow the trend and follow momentum. Where's momentum? Momentum is pushing up. Apparently a bunch of people got into this long trade. Is it going to be a place where you're gonna lose a lot on your long trade or not? I'm gonna to try to give unbiased perspective in this video, okay? Price uh, versus well money flow. The price is in pink here. If this well money flow starts moving down to the downside, this means we have a divergence between price and well money flow. Take a look at this, okay? If you see that the price here is moving up like we currently are, and we get a basically a lower high on the money flow, this means price structure is moving up while money is flowing out of the market. Not a good sign whatsoever for this to keep heading up. Again, this isn't my personal opinions. This is how money flow works in the market. Price structure can't go up with money flowing out of the market. It doesn't correlate, okay? Just be cautious of that on the video uh, as you guys are taking in this data. If you guys are looking at this with the historical proof of what the trend exhaustion has shown us, when we get up into these top areas, we do start seeing moves back down in the top red zone, okay? Take a look at this on the chart. If you guys are, sorry, let me get crosshairs out. This will make it a little bit easier. If we look even up here, we did see a little bit moves down. I know this we're in an uptrend, but even in a strong uptrend, we still see moves down in the market a little bit here if you guys start moving up into the top red section. On this channel, guys, when I call a drop, I'm not looking for huge drops. We're looking for five to, three to five percent, seven percent sometimes. We're just looking for a higher low to get in and write it back up. So when I call drops, I'm not looking for 10 to 20 to 30%. We are day trading in and out of the market quite fast between, you know, we'll hold trades. Sometimes we'll hold them between three to seven days. Some people will call that swing trading, okay? I want to just point that out. Again, as we see, it moves up here in the top red section, we could see moves back down. So the price versus the well money flow and the trend exhaustion, you guys want these on your charts. You guys can get them in the description. Watch the money flow here because if this starts heading out while price structure continues to head up, this is not a bullish sign for ADA. All right, let's go over the metrics. Let's see what we've got here. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. These will update at tradeconfident.io. All right, the emotional index. The last time we ended up seeing this happen, we ended up overextending ourselves here in the market, and now we're back up here again. We saw this over here that we dropped this time, a very nice drop when we got excited. At this level that we've seen, if we follow this straight over, this level right here, we see that we dropped this previous time. If we follow over here, we are at the all-time high. We saw the biggest bear drop in ADA this year so far. And then if we start moving back over here, we start seeing these accumulate over here where we start seeing spikes, and we have dropped every single time in the market when we've got up to these higher levels, okay? This is the only time where I would say this is somewhat of an anomaly where we did not see a move back down as strongly as I think we, we could have, okay? Nothing should happen on the metrics ever. Don't let anyone say, oh, this should happen in Bitcoin. Everything is, this could happen. I know it's a nuance of words, but it's something that I, I see uh, sometimes sometimes online. <laughs> it, it, nothing, nothing is supposed to happen. It's everything that could happen. That's what we need to be paying attention to. Okay, let's move down and let's get a little bit more data in here if you guys are looking to take a long trade or a short trade. These are the long and short trades 
on the actual exchange for Bitfinex here. So we see short trades are basically, you know, evening out here, but long trades are increasing. This makes sense of why we could have seen a pump up here. Now, please make this correlation, guys. Uh, if you're watching this metric, this shows that long trades are increasing and short trades are flat. All right. And the price is moving up. If you guys come over to Bitcoin and if you believe there's any correlation with what Bitcoin does and with what Cardano does, please watch this very carefully. Long trades are completely moving out of the market while the price is moving up. Price is moving up here. Long trades completely moving out. We dropped. OK, this historically is a place where you will see the market move back down. I believe if Bitcoin sees a drop in here and we're at a very crucial point for Bitcoin. So make sure you guys watch that video. I did it over here. Sorry to throw this ad up for you guys. Um, this is not it. I'm going to just go back here once. Excuse me so you guys can see this. Make sure you guys watch this video. This is a very crucial moment right now for Bitcoin. It's basically an ascending some people call this an ascending wedge, ascending triangle. If this breaks like it broke over here, we could be dropping very fast. So make sure you guys watch that video. If Bitcoin drops today, and if Bitcoin comes out and it breaks this ascending support right here, and it does what it did before, last time this happened, Bitcoin ended up dropping about six to 7% down. If that happens, I do believe ADA will follow suit in this move, although it doesn't always follow. This is very clear, guys. ADA does not always follow. What's happening with Bitcoin right now? Structure moving down. What's happening with ADA right now? It's going through the roof. So this is proof to you guys. I get this question a lot. Does ADA and all the altcoins have to follow Bitcoin? No, it does not have to follow. Overall, in the trend, it, you could see some similarities, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you they don't have to follow. <laughs> Go back to May 12th through May 15th of this year and look at Bitcoin and ADA. You'll see exactly the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, long for short trade risk. We are still sitting up here in the short trade risk, uh, the good short trade. The risk in this lies on long trades. That's how you guys read this. I, I literally created this for myself. I'm like, I need a metric to show me, is it more riskier today to enter into a long trade or is it more riskier to enter into a short trade? And this shows us that when we are up here and it says clearly good short trade or great short trade, this is when the market has historically dropped back down, drop 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 back down. Okay. We see that when we push up into this great short trade section, it doesn't have the steam to keep going. So I wanted you guys to look at that. Let's take a look at more data. Okay. Well, in institutional smart money, this has historically shown us that when short trade smart money is accumulating at the bottom here, we start seeing moves down back in the market. Obviously, this is the opposite for everyone who's been looking to take long trades on this last move back down. Everybody is clearly in the profit. Well, is this accumulation of short trades going to happen again like we've seen in the past here? We saw drops. We saw accumulation here. We saw a drop, accumulation, drop, accumulation, a little bit of a drop, not as much as we thought. Again, this is the beginning cycle of the psychology of a market cycle where a lot of things just continue to pump straight up. But we have seen it here when this historically gets down to these levels. This is when we will see drops in the market. Okay, So I want you guys to pay attention to that as we look in past history and we try to predict the future here okay i believe these are the best metrics we have to help us predict this support resistance prices where are we going to drop to if ada does drop back down well there's a reason why i have this entry here for you guys um the first entry and i will go over this at the end of the video is at a dollar 35 it's exactly where i have mine set up and i believe it's a good place the reason for this is let me get out a fibonacci retracement here for us i want to be above the 50 percent fibonacci retracement if we come down and hit this the golden zone lies between about a dollar thirty and I would say about a dollar twenty-three. I'm in just a little bit higher than this in case we drop back down, see a nice higher low, and then we start shooting back up. Now, again, if you guys want to get in with an order right now and you expect this to go up, I will show you how to do this with really good risk management. So keep watching this video, okay? I know some people are going to want to do it, and you're going to do it anyways. I understand it. Let me at least show you how to do this with incredibly good risk management so you're not kicking yourself in three days if this drops back down very hard, okay? So these are the dollar cost entries. If you guys want to get in and just take, you know, entries that are very low, probably the best metric in the market to call bottoms before we start jumping back up. This is great. Anyone who's just followed this channel and you're like, Travis, I understand you day trade. I just want a metric where I can just throw money into the market and write it up. And I'm holding for five to 10 years. Great, guys. This is the metric you want to be looking at. Okay. Exit points. We are seeing a flash here. We end up seeing accumulation of red and we're seeing a move back down. These are historically some of the best places to exit the market before it drops, 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 before it drops. Okay. Over extensions in the market will look like this. So this is where I've been more bearish lately on this channel than bullish because the metrics are pointing to more bearish sentiment. All right. 
I told you guys I'd show you this. If you are gonna enter a long trade right now on Cardano because you think this thing's gonna go through the roof, let me at least give you guys some good risk management to enter in here, okay? Because there is a strong case that can be had that a lot of people are gonna say, we're at resistance, we're looking for a drop. I'm telling you the metrics in here are actually more bearish than they are bullish. So if you're gonna enter in, here's what I'm suggesting. I gotta put this out there, guys. This is available on our membership. It's 49 bucks a month, great. Once you guys have that, you'll have access to this. Go to the front page and scroll down to Cardano. This is how you get there. I don't wanna turn this into sales videos. Like, if you wanna know how to get it, sign up for the membership and you guys can get all of these, these metrics. Here is exactly what I would do, guys, if you wanna enter into a trade right now. I have all of my trades right now. I'm gonna show this transparent to you guys for 88. Here they are. Nothing's hitting. All of my Ethereum limits are in here for buy limits and all my buy limits for 88. You can see it, 135, 103, 67, 41. You can see all of my Ethereum in here. I am expecting to see a drop or a nice higher low formation in the market. I am prepared. Because I have these in now, I'm gonna get picked up before everybody else who tries to get in with a market order when we drop down. This is very smart to be set up. So, here's my call. The way you guys trade this, please watch this video by the way. The way you guys trade this is you look at the current price at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or just simply identify where the current live price is at, okay? The current live price for ADA is currently at $1.58. We're just above this point here. This metric is going to update here this morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is in two hours. What you guys do, I'm gonna use this as an example here, okay? It's probably gonna be very close to this level. If you guys want to go in with a market order, and it's gonna be pushed above this level here, most likely. This, You guys see that right there at $1.57? It's most likely gonna be pushed above this when you watch this, it might head down. But if you wanna enter in, if you have $1,000, what I suggest is breaking into four different sections. Each yellow line below the live price, you put 25% of that in. So you put 250 in here, 250 in here, 250 here, and 250 here. If you guys come in here and you want to market order, one fourth of the allotted amount you wanna enter in with, again, $1,000, break it into four equal sections. If you market order $250, skip the first buy limit in here. And then your first buy limit will actually be down here at $1.35, and then your second and your third. Make sure you guys are watching this this morning because some of these are updated on these coins here, okay? These are the best entries for Fibonacci retracements, bot zones, quarters, theories, whole numbers. This is where the price is going to historically bounce the greatest. That is how you can get in. So if you wanna get in right now and you think it's going up, I would suggest taking the allotted amount. Again, I'm a broken record on this because I wanna drive this home, $1,000, split it into four equal portions. You can do $250 right now if you want, not financial advice, guys. $250 if you want, and then I would skip this first buy limit, and your first buy limit would be at three. Why is there such a ridiculous gap in here if you guys wanna enter in? Now, let me point this out real quick. If we are above here, you guys can skip this line, and your first buy limit would be $1.35 depending on where this updates when you guys are watching this, okay? Because we are currently above this yellow line. If you want a market order in, you need to skip the first buy limit and your first buy limit will be down here at $1.37. You need to create space between your entry and your buy limits because that is what dollar cost averaging is. And as we go down and if this thing drops, you guys will get a more favorable entry as the price goes down. So there is the best risk management you guys can use literally if you wanna get into a long trade right now, I believe this is due for a drop back down here. Yes, it can absolutely go back up, but the more signs, I'm not getting emotional at all, guys, more data points to that this is actually gonna see a move back down than a move back up. And there you guys have it. That is why you guys are following this channel and you're subscribed. I am not using emotion. I'm using strict data to show you guys what we can expect in the market and showing history of what's repeated itself. So. I'm getting ready for my long trade. I don't think we've seen a, a huge correction big enough down yet for me to uh, get in. So I'm gonna be holding at the moment for $1.35 and that is my current call on ADA. God bless you guys so, so much. Have an amazing day and I'll come out with probably one more video today to cover the market and then we will keep going. Make sure you guys are signed up over at tradeconfident.io to access all of these metrics and you guys I think will really, really love this as we continue to trade here. Have a good one guys. These indicators are in the description, price first, well, money flow, the trend exhaustion and the trend dashboard will be going up September 1st. Just wanna point that out there in price. So make sure you guys snag these now. All right guys, have a good one and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.